Hey, what's going on, my friends? So, welcome to today's training, where I'm going to share with you on how do you lose weight using a non-diet approach. So, if you're here live with me, just drop live in the comments, or if you're here catching the replay, just drop replay. Okay. So, when it comes to losing weight, you know the mainstream weight loss advice that you typically typically get nowadays is you know, you got to eat clean, you got to cut out your carb, you need to go on this diet, that diet, you need to take this supplement, you need to drink these slimming products and so on, right? But the problem with that is, I mean, it kind of worked, but the problem with that is, is an outdated me method. And simply because it's just not sustainable. When you stop doing it for good reasons, right? Maybe you just cannot stay consistent, maybe you just didn't like it and when that happens, what happens is you experience a weight rebound. You either go back to where you first started off or you regain more weight than before, right? And that actually leaves a lot, a lot of pe people, I mean from what, from my experience when I talk, talk to people where, who are trying to lose weight, they leave them frustrated because they are running in circles and ultimately they this is one of the reasons why they give up so today i'm going to show you a better way or a new a new way right and before i before we go into that i just want to share with you a personal story so i started my fitness journey back in 2019 no 2009 okay <laughs> and you know i was fresh out of college and you know i decided to embark on my fitness journey i decided to go to the gym and you know i i'll, I'll go for my workout i'll start to eat healthy and stuff like that but after a year i was feeling kind of burnt out not really in a physical sense but in the, uh, but men mentally right and i still enjoy the exercise the workout but i kind of struggled with my diet you know i struggled to stick with my diet and i definitely did not en en enjoy it because i used to think that being fit and healthy means i can only stick with uh, a certain kind of food the healthy foods and i have to cut out the rest so because of that uh, because of that my, my mindset right i would rarely eat out and i would rather skip social events and it was really strict, you know, sticking to plain, boring food, like eating boiled chicken breast and broccoli most of the time for the whole for the whole for the whole year. Okay. So at first, you know, it kind of makes sense, right? You want to eat clean, you want to eat healthy, but after a while it it just kind of didn't it didn't really quite make sense to me. I knew I knew something was um missing and something has 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 to change, right? Or else I don't think I I'm able to do this um con continue continue to to do to do this um um any long longer. So I knew that some so the point is something was missing, right? Something I was doing that, you know, it doesn't make sense to me. Like I thought like being healthy and, and fit is supposed to be some something that is an a positive addition to my life but end up i was living in some kind of frustration and stress so i'd love to know if this is something that you can relate to or you are or you have experienced in 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 the past like you have tried all the different methods the diets out there to lose weight like keto diet intermittent fasting maybe you have taken steaming product to cut out your carbs your sugar and you eat the same food the whole the whole time, but you're just not able to sustain it. Okay, if that's you, just drop a yes in the comments. Um, okay, and today I'm going to share with you a new way. Okay, something that I discovered over the years that helped me to stay fit, stay in shape, in a sustainable way. And I've done that for the past fourteen years, and I believe this is also will be able to help you. To lose weight and sustain your results all right so the new way is quite like call the non-diet approach okay instead of following a strict diet rules you got to learn to eat right and 
flexible. Okay, and I'm going to give, I'm, and eating right is going to be based on your individual goals, needs, and your preference, right? And there are three main pillars to this, eating right and flexible. So the first pillar is, you know, it's not about eating clean or healthy. Okay, the first pillar is you got to dial into your food portions for weight loss. So to explain that, I like to use this anal anal an analogy, right? I want you to think of it like your financial budget. If you want to be financially well, your income has to be greater than your expenses, all right? Because if it's the op opposite, you are going to be broke. So in the same way, you have a calorie budget, okay? It's something that has to be quantified, right? It's not about eating clean or, or healthy. That it's not something that is quanti quantifiable. And what you need is to eat lesser calories than you burn in order to lose weight. And I'm going to show you in a while an example of how we can implement this in your life. All right. So let me just project this. All right. Okay. So the non diet approach to lose weight. Okay, so we talk about the first point, which is you need to dial into your food portions. So here's an example on how you can imp implement this. All right. The first step is down to your food portion. So how you want to gauge your food portions will be you want to learn to use your hand, your hand portions to gauge the different uh, food macros. So you have your fist, uh, you have your palms for your protein, your fist for your vegetables, your hand cup for carb. And your palms, or if you want a bit to be more specific, one tablespoon size for your fats. Okay. And as a general guide, okay, how we want to down your food portions is you can start off with one to two hand portions for each category for each meal. And assume that you eat three, three meals a, a day. Okay. And here's an example of how you can do it. Okay. Now, the second step is. The second step is, the first step is down to your food portions, right? Now, the second step is, you got to eat the right nutrients proportions. So after you get the food portions right, you need to eat the right nutrient proportions. So it's just like having the right budget allocation for your expenses. After you have allocated your budget for your expenses, you wouldn't just spend your money however you want, right? First, you got to pay off your needs your basic necessities, your food, your shelter. Then you allocate some funds into your savings and investments. And lastly, you only spend on your wants, your entertainment and social activities. Right? So that is what usually the the financial advice that you, you typically get. Right? So there has to be some kind of budget allocation. Right? You cannot just spend. It's not wise to spend however you want. And it can be subjective because it's about spending what is right and appropriate for you, for you according to your goals, your, your income, your goals, and your needs, right? So in the same way, you also need to get your nutrient proportions right, meaning to say that your carbs, your protein, your fats, and your food quality as well, right? This is to ensure that, to not to ensure that your 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 body is properly nour nourished. You ensure that you have uh, your met metabolism is is working fine, and you, and it will improve your health. So, and some of, some of the example I can think of is like you want to make sure that at least of eighty percent of your calories is coming from minimally processed, nutritious whole, whole foods. Okay, and these are your basic your basic necessities in your nutrition. Not because not get, getting in the right nutrient pro proportions will result in some kind of nutrient deficiencies, and you have a ne you have a negative impact to your body and your health. Okay, so it's it's very similar to how you are spending your your budget, right? You just don't spend however you want, and if all your budget is just going to entertainment and and fun activities, um, 
not really sure that you know that's the right thing to 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 do. You know, you're not you're not taking care of. Imagine you don't have a house, you don't have food to eat. Um, you get what I mean, right? So, in the same way as all right, eating too much processed food, or oily, high fat food wouldn't be a good idea for your health. Okay, you got to get your basic necessities right. You know, then after that, you need include your fun foods like your desserts, your ice cream, and your things that you love to eat. Okay, so to do that, let me just bring it here. All right. Okay, so I, I mentioned that you want to get 80 of your percent of your calories from minimally processed, nutritious whole foods, okay, which is the, the good quality of food. And to do that, I want to just to make a point here is that it's common for people to categorize, to generally categorize food as good and bad, okay, because it's like it makes the right choice. Um, it seems to make the right choice um, clearer, right? Unfortunately, this um, kind of mindset often leads to feelings of deprivation, guilt, you know, because we are humans who can be perfect all the time. So a more effective way and an enjoyable way, instead of telling yourself the good and bad or foods that you can or and you, you cannot eat, think of food on a con continuum from eat less, eat some, and eat more, okay? And most of the time, and this allows you to, you know, this allows you to be more sustainable in the long term. And when I say the 80% time, most of the time you want to spend to eat, to eat foods from the eat, eat more, the eat more section. Okay. So what does that mean, right? So for example, in for pro protein, so you see I have put three different cat categories here. So here are some examples of food you can pick, okay, for, for each uh, macronutrient. So for pro protein, this is the list of food. 80% of the time, you want to spend to, to pick foods from this column here. All right. And then yeah. next, we move, we move on to carbohydrate source. I've also come up with a list for you. For you. Yeah, as, as well as um, fat. All right. And then as we move on, vegetables. Fruits and vegetables, I usually I combine them in, in, into one. So what you want to, 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 to do for your fruits and vegetables is you want to learn to eat the rainbow. Okay, meaning to say that you want to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables. And how you get the how you get the variety, how you determine the variety is depending on the color. Okay, so what you can do is in a week, okay, you can try different kind of colors of fruits and vegetables. Okay, in that way you get different, you get a full spectrum of nutrients and we will give you all the different health benefits. Right, and the last step is, yeah, so right right now, you know, you have given, you're given the freedom to choose, pick and choose how you want to build your diet, which is what I call the non-diet approach, okay, which is not the typical strict diet that you follow with, with, with a set of rules. Right now, you are actually learning how to build your own personalized diet for yourself. Because like I said earlier, what is right for, uh, for you may not be right for them. What is right for others may not be right for you. So which leads me to, which leads me to step number three. Okay, you want to eat foods or you want to pick foods that works with your body, not against it. Okay, because I think it's very important to include foods of your preference, right? And foods that you enjoy to eat, all right? If some something can be healthy, but if you really don't like it, there's no reason to not. There's no reason to to eat, to eat, to consume it, right? And when you have um, this allows actually you know you to have some flexibility flexibility in your life, instead of following a strict diet that is not sustainable, okay? Because if you are happy with what you eat, you can be consistent and it will be sustainable for the rest of your life, okay? Because we are humans, we are not ro robots. Our life are complex. We have emotions, you know, we have social life that we need to attend to and strict diet just make it challenging to participate in these aspects of life, you know, leading to unnecessary 
stress, frustration, guilt. Just don't try to make life harder than it already is. Okay. And if you know that, just to share with you a fun fact, right? The origin of the word diet actually comes from the Greek word diet. Okay. And what it means is it's not about what you eat. It's actually it means a way of life. So your diet it's not something that you do just for the sake of lo losing weight. Remember that it is a way of life. So what you want to do is focus on creating a new way of life or a lifestyle that help you to lose weight and it's sustainable. Because the truth is all foods can be part of your diet. Okay, And the key here is to find a way of eating that allows you to feel perform at your best. Okay, As well as something that you can stick with consistently for the rest of your life okay because how you lose weight will be similar to how you live your life if your method that you use right now to lose weight is sustainable i guarantee that your results will be man man maintainable and this is key right so here's an example of um what i do personally right i also i also i i do a combination of self-cook and uh i eat Eat out as well. So here's what I I I do. An example of how you can use the the hand portion guide to portion out your 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 foods. Alright. And yeah, do give it a try, right? And let let me know if you have any questions. And if you like this guide, you know, just comment right and I'll send it to you. Okay. I also want to share with you some examples of my clients who has uh, used this exact strategy to lose to lose weight. So this is an exact an example of my client Jeremy who has lost twenty kilos in six months. Okay, so just like what most people are are facing, right? <clears throat> they want to lose weight. They try to cut down that their, their their food. They go on a diet. But every time when they stop dieting, they go back to their norm, norm, normal eating, they regain back the, 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 the weight. Okay. But if you learn how to incorporate foods that you enjoy, you learn how to inco incorporate foods of your preference, you think, you think about it this way, your new diet, your new lifestyle will be part of you for the rest of, of your life. So what that is what I I'm, I mean by you know when how how you how you lose weight the method they use to lose weight is so Im, Im, important okay because it can result in two outcome the first outcome is you you will re regain back the weight after you have stopped your diet the second outcome is because it's your part of your lifestyle it's something that you you just do every day right and you maintain it for the rest of of your life. Okay, and I just want to point out that you know it's very important to learn to make mindful food choices. That is the reason why I actually give a whole list of uh, food choice and experience. You know, food freedom com compared to sticking to a set of uh, strict rules. Okay, and now he knows that you know when whenever he wants to eat some something, he can have it without worrying about his weight or worrying about or having guilt you know thinking that oh no i've done some some something wrong right and we also help many of our clients to do the same using the same exact method which is to eat right and eat right is one and you know be be flexible and this is what i call the non-diet approach to lose weight and sustain results for life okay it's about eating right and be flexible and there are three main, main steps here is first one is you got to dial into your food portions the second step is you need to eat the right nutrient proportions and the third step is you could eat foods that works with your body and not against it okay So as for myself, okay, it's not earlier I talked about my clients. Now let's talk, let's go back a bit to, to my own personal fitness journey. 
instead of instead of um you know instead of seeing my fitness journey as a chore it becomes a way of life okay um i love what i do i love what i eat okay and i've learned a lot along the way as well you know about learn learning about you know what kind of foods that um i like to eat more what are the foods that i don't like to eat i will do it less and it's all about over time you kind of do you, you have tests right and you mix and match and find ways the sweet spot for you okay and now i've done this for myself i've done this for my clients and for those who are you for those who are, you are who are who are here i'm so want to help you to to do the same okay to help you to lose weight get fit you know maybe you want to fit into your old clothes once again or maybe you are dad you want to keep up with your kids you know every, we all want to build a sustainable a sustainable healthy lifestyle okay and i hope this training or this short training will give you a new perspective and hope and what i want to say is your fitness goals is really within your reach okay it's not rocket science it does not have to be com- complicated and all you need is the right tools and right approach for some of you here many i mean i would i would think that you know when when you have tried to lose weight in the past maybe you are you have been told that oh you need to weigh your food you need to count your calories right but all of those are just not i mean all of those are just not practical right and for me it's just not necessary also okay unless you have a more advanced goals then we might need to talk about that but if you don't have you just want to live a healthy a, a, a fit a fit a fit life you don't plan to compete in in a, a bodybuilding space then oops then this is all that you need right okay it's down to your food portions eat the right foods and yeah mix mix and match find out what what are the things that you find find out um what are the foods that you you enjoy you enjoy and in, in, include them okay so yeah that's all I, i have and uh i'd love to know if this has been helpful for you um if this has been and something that is new if uh if i this helpful just drop just type yes in the com- comments so i will know that you know this has been help helpful and yeah do let me know if you have any other questions as well okay and if you want to have a more personalized plan for you to lose weight you know you have specific challenges and concerns in in your life that you need a bit more for one to one support and you want to have a personalized plan just send me a message with the word plan and i'll reach out to you and what we're going to do is we're going to have chat about your goals your challenges and to see how i can possibly help you on that okay and i just want to make sure that i'm able to help you to implement the right things okay like we got to learn how we got to eat learn to eat right to lose weight to improve your health we got to do some kind of progressive strength training workout to build muscle to build strength and to boost your metabolism and most importantly we got to we got to help you to create fit mindset and habits to sustain your weight loss to stay healthy and fit for for life and when you do it right you'll be surprised you you'll be surprised you know how quickly and effectively and even how sim- simple you know you can get the results that you want all right so if you like a personalized plan just send me a private message with the word plan and now let's have a chat all right so that's what i got for today and i hope you found value from today's training and as always stay healthy happy and have an amazing day ahead